speed cameras. Rick, if you can come with the captain, yes, if you can yes, think of something, I'll give us a call on 0207 221 4444. We'll read out the funniest later on. Now we're going to nip over to Edith. You all right, love? I'm all right, thanks very much, because I'm sat in the green room having a bit of a chat with James Alexander. Really? Thank you so much for coming in. That's my pleasure. Um, now, before we get into all East End stuff, did you have a nice weekend? Yeah, it was OK, yeah. yeah. It's not too did, bad. Did you do much? Did you go to clubbing and stuff at the weekend? Uh, I went to a, a party on Saturday night, just the mate's 21st birthday party, so that was good fun. Do you get hounded by people and stuff when you go out? Do you get a lot of attention from sort of yeah, you get some, fans and yeah, stuff? Yeah, you do, but I've just been doing it for so long now, I just take no notice, really. I mean, like tunnel vision or something, you know, yeah. I don't really take the notice of it. So. But you must have had quite a lot of people with it, with it, the Jamie storyline sort of coming up and shouting things like cars to you and stuff. Yeah, because well, I've just started driving in real life myself and, you know... He's what? He started funny. driving a car? For goodness sake, <laughs> let him. Don't oh, let him I haven't heard that before. <laughs> no, yeah, but exactly. That's sort You're going to hear that's it another five thing. times during the show, don't Brilliant. you know that, sir? Brilliant. I, I was just saying, I watched the whole of next week's episodes yesterday because we got a tape of it. It's brilliment. Really? Next week, this week's episodes are absolutely fantastic. Would you like switch it on and watch the omnibus or anything, or do you watch yourself? Yeah, stuff? I tend to put it on if it's on. Yeah, my family watch it a lot, so if it's on, I'll sit there and watch it. Do all your mates and all your family go, come on, what's happening? Tell us what's happening. Because <laughs> you always sit on TV, you go, what's happening? Well, I can't tell you. But do you get a lot of pressure from your friends and family? Yeah, they sort of poke me a bit to try and get some you information. Say, Mum, shut up. Mum, shut it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's good. Exactly. I'm glad you speak like that to your mother. That's, uh, yeah, that's so we introduced nice. Martin to, to, to girls. Martin, I'm calling you. Sorry. That's right. James, that's, that's not annoying, is it? <laughs> oh, <it's in. laughs> you must get it all the Come time. Come over here with the girls. Come over and see the okay. girls. This is the girls from. Keep your mitts off him, though, all right? Yeah, don't Please. want him doing Please. any crazy grab, stunts. Grab a seat. Hello. Sit down there, sir. Hello. Hello. These are girls from, uh, from the, the Honey Trap, which is um, a new show on Channel 5, which I watched last night. Um, and uh, how would you describe it, first of all? Because we're going to talk chat about it a little bit later, but how would you describe the show? I think it's just really fun, um, basically seeing how far guys will go for um, an attractive girl. James, interested? <laughs> oh, yeah, very interested. But the thing is, I, I tell you now, blokes will go very, very far for attractive girls. Some of the things I've done and still, you know, had... What's the harshest happened? predicament you've got on a bloke in, then, over the, the course of the series? Well, there's so many. <laughs> well, there is so many, and every single different episode is, is completely different because we use different guys for each show. Yeah. It just makes it even more fun. And certain things didn't work with some guys, but yeah. they did with others. But has, has there been anything that you've sort of thought, oh, we can't do that, we can't possibly make this guy do this? Toilet one. Oh, well, Probably has to be me. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, there was an well. incident with some Lucas Aid and a, <laughs> a toilet, and I dropped my ring down there and asked somebody to help me get it out because I couldn't do it myself. And it was my best ring, and he did it for me. <laughs> I think the word gullible should come into this. But, no, see, but I've done things, I've not put my hand in, in girls' urine, I've, you know, that's maybe to come later on. But I've done embarrassing things. You get, one, you get one of the guys to dress up in one of your pink thongs, I yeah, think. Yeah, absolutely. Who, is has, that... who has the worst sunburn oh. in the world? <laughs> yeah. It's just embarrassing. But now that's, is that humiliating, or is that just a bit of sexy fun? Do you know what I mean, wearing girls' underwear? It's just fun. I mean, it is just fun. As the series goes on, you'll see more and more girly stuff that we make them do. Like, like what? Ooh, like carrying logs. When <laughs> 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 we dress them up as women in one of the shows. They loved all of it. We get them to do runners from James, like James, James ever... are you that gullible? Um, no, not really. I'm, no, I'm, <laughs> not, 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 I'm not gullible. It's just, I'm, you know, I'm too nervous. You know, I'll be wilted at the sight of a girl. So no. If a pretty girl in a bikini came up to you and asked you to do anything, do you think you would do it? Well, yeah, to an extent. Yes, he's he's not crying he's like a baby, yes. I think. He's shaking. <laughs> oh, bless you. Have, you. have you ever had to do anything humiliating in front of a girl? No, not really. I'm, as I say, I'm a bit boring, really. You know, oh. I just, uh, I'll believe you for a second. We'll get some dirt on the internet <laughs> on you before the next chat. OK, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but we're going to be chatting more to the girls from, um, from the Honey Trap and James a little bit later on. We'll see you in two. <laughs> 